Listen very carefully and follow my instructions. Prepare your brain for the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. I got to tell you, being an entrepreneur, I will not go through the rest of my career without taking nootropics. Aniracetam, paracetam, modafinil, nupep, uridine monophosphate. I mean, phenylparacetam, forget it. You can always have a better brain. The Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast is about to begin. Episode number 108 of the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast, phenylparacetam turns me into a confident animal. <laughs> We're going to read from a nootropic subreddit about phenylparacetam and a person's uh, experience, but I also want this podcast to kind of just be an illustration of how powerful phenylparacetam is. These days, a lot of people are looking for very complex stacks, and look, I understand that. I know I seem contradictory when I say complex stacks are also because we suggest them, and but it's really for particular people for particular levels of brain function. For some people, phenylparacetam and a choline source and some theocrine is going to be the best stack they've ever taken. So we're going to get into some of that as I read this post on the nootropic subreddit. First, though, specials on product. Right now, the Cortex nootropic stack, you got three Three options. You'd either support us totally and buy the bottle for 33 bucks. That's retail at livecortex.com. Strong, pre-made, motivation, mental energy, mood, verbal fluency stack. Or you could use the coupon code 5, F-I-V-E, and get a bottle for 28 bucks at livecortex.com. Or if you want a bottle for 25, you could do that too. You just have to buy two. That is called the Cortex Double Stack, and you can buy that at the homepage at livecortex.com. If you need my help personally on anything related to nootropics, buy our consulting service. It is a 40-minute call with me, 15 follow-up email correspondence is where we zero in stacks and formulate stacks that work well for you. It'll be, it'll save you years of experimentation on nootropics. Get that at livecortex.com. And if you're new to nootropics, buy Smarter, Better, Faster. It is the digital book that we wrote for people that are new. It teaches you everything. You have to start there. Or you could upgrade that and buy the Nootropic Starter Pack, which is Smarter, Better, Faster, that book, plus a bottle of our stack Cortex in a package. That is the way to start with Nootropics if you want to optimize your brain. Okay, so what is phenylparacetam? Well, it is a cholinergic nootropic uh, that has been postulated in, um, I think, an attempt to have a, a patent for it, um, you know, doing a particular thing to be a dopamine reuptake inhibitor. So that might explain why it's very, very stimulant-like and it's very, very motivating at the same time, but it also allows you to process better. Phenylparacetam is one of my favorite racetams. The other two are aniracetam, oxiracetam, of course. But, I mean, I break out phenylparacetam in the afternoon at 1 p.m. when my morning energy is worn because I didn't sleep right or I didn't do something right. Because generally, if you're doing everything right, you should not have afternoon slumps, but people do, and sometimes I do. And when I do, 150 milligrams phenylparacetam, a little bit of theocrine, maybe a little bit of CDP choline, knocks me right in. By the way, for those of you that are wondering, my doses are right around 150 milligrams phenylparacetam, 100 milligrams theocrine, 80 milligrams CDP choline. And that's like a perfect stack for me, like at least at this time for my like 1 p.m. wake up if I need it. Um, so maybe it'd be a good stack for you to work from that template. But I want to read to you a nootropic subreddit thread titled phenylparacetam turns me into a confident animal ordinarily i'm fairly shy and when i go out clubbing it can be hard for me to talk to women or make a move <laughs> but when i take 100 milligrams of phenylparacetam beforehand i transform into an absolute beast i'll be salsa dancing with random women on the dance floor with ease normally i have no idea how to dance <laughs> the guy puts in parentheses going out on the dance floor and grinding with many girls. It's crazy because I normally never do this. I'm just not that much of a party animal. Now, that could just be all coincidence, but the last time I went out and took me uh, and, it, and took it made me realize there's something special about this nootropic. My friend and I went out with a group of women to a club. While we were outside, I made strong eye contact with the hottest girl in the group, pulled her chin towards me and started making out with her in front of her friends. My friend was in shock because she's never seen me do anything like that. Eventually, her friends had to pull her off me because a lot of people started watching. <laughs> this is like kind of rated R here. The best way I can explain it is that phenylparacetam seems to just make you more dominant and assertive. Let's say you make eye contact with a girl and want to dance with her. Phenylparacetam will help immediately and impulsively carry out that thought without hesitating, whereas uh, ordinarily, another part of your brain will cause you to hesitate or evaluate if it's not a good idea, uh, making you scared and cautious. Any idea what mechanisms are behind this? 
Okay, so he he makes a critical point here, which is like what I'm so interested around nootropics. And like when I get into a lot of the consultation is like, okay, finding stacks that work well for people. But some of the consults we do are finding stacks that will inhibit some part of their brain that they don't like, you know, or, or allow them to uh, overcome some degree of mental functionality that, that inhibits them in life. And in, in, in this particular case, which I think is really super cool, phyloparacetam is basically like inhibiting this worried concern that this guy is going to go and meet with girls at the club and they're going to reject him. Now, look, I, I want to make it clear. This is one of the reasons I've always talked about nootropics for confidence. I and mean, we have folks that like go into three, four hour meetings and they're kind of new with their job and they're kind of low on the totem pole and they don't have a lot of confidence. So they kind of mess up in the meetings and they're not performing well. It's not because they don't know the content of their job. It is because they are not confident. And that is because their brain is not working well. But when we get them on a good stack, like almost every time they come back and say, man, I went to my meeting. I was so much more productive. I was way more confident. My bosses are looking at me like I'm super smart. And that's because you, you, you took a nootropic stack that got your brain to work better. So when you're agile in social situations and your brain – because your brain works better, you are as a byproduct a lot more confident and you can get a lot done. That is what's happening in this case with this person. Improve functionality. You can improve confidence. You can improve everything. A lot of the reason that people have social anxiety, I believe, I mean, I think I think it's certainly a degree neurotransmitter imbalance coupled with kind of their self-image of themselves about what they've done in their lives, how they look perhaps, if they're overweight or they don't look good or whatever it is. But it, it, it's also that being effective socially uh, has a lot to do with verbal fluency. It, it has to do with being ahead verbally, now listen to this, ahead verbally of the train of thought that you're having. So the train of thought is slightly behind you and your verbal fluency is is right there, just right above it to catch the train of thought and then verbalize it. it, it it's almost as if, as if the gap between thinking things and then formulating them into sentences, you know, and, and, and doing it smoothly, otherwise known as verbal fluency, that gap is smaller when your brain is working well. Okay, that makes, you know, I hope that makes sense to folks. And I, I just want to say that some time ago, we did a call with a guy who was like a dating expert. Like, this is what he did. He went out and picked up girls and like made a website about it and tried to teach other guys like how to pick up girls. And we talked about stacks that might work for this. And what we ended up finding, interestingly enough, relevant to this is that phenylparacetam was like one of the best stacks. There was a phenylparacetam new pep stack. So around 150 milligrams phenylparacetam, 10 milligrams new pept with a choline source. And then the other stack, which gave him some good inhibition of um, an excessive worried kind of thoughts, plus made his brain function better, was a phenylparacetam phenibute stack. I mean, talk about getting yourself calm but functional so you can just kind of do whatever you want. I mean, this guy upped his game completely. I actually watched his business grow. He sent me some of his revenue metrics. It's like a nootropic stack took this guy from <laughs> where he was to doing more revenue just because, you know, he was in a place where he was confident and calm and able to inhibit kind of that background stuff that prevents you from doing things. So, so many points here. Phenylparacetam, simple nootropics, you know, compound, very awesome compound. The other thing is like, you know, if you're not good in social situations, it is more than likely related to the fact that your brain is just not functioning well. And if you can function well and and lessen the gap between thought of words and the formulation of words, you're going to be more verbally fluent. You're going to sound like you know what you're talking about more. You're going to come off more confident and you'll be better and more comfortable in social situations. And the other major point is that sometimes you, you just need an optimization to one system to to shut off or inhibit an auto mechanism that is running that is causing some limitation in your life. Now, auto mechanisms, this is like a whole other podcast, whole other video. Auto mechanisms are basically just like neurotransmitter receptor downregulation, neurotransmitter receptor malfunction, neurotransmitter signaling malfunction that either get your brain to not be able to shut off worry or they get your brain to have too much energy and you you know you can't kind of slow down to focus whatever it is it's it's an auto mechanism 
of an imbalance in neurotransmitters. And some nootropic compounds, if you find the right one, you know, definitely nootropic compounds, can work to balance your brain to shut off the auto mechanisms of neuronal function that are happening kind of just without your consent that are messing you up and give you a, a completely different level of brain function so that you can actually move and do what you do. Can't tell you how many times I've seen oxyracetam work for people that have like, uh, I don't want to say schizophrenia, but like, you know, just like, oh, they're overly concerned about things. It's an auto mechanism of worry. Oxyracetam actually shuts it off for them because it is a cyclic GABA derivative. Plus it's making your brain function better with the cholinergic modifications, particularly the more release of acetylcholine from the hippocampus, which makes your memory work better. That is another part of being effective in social situations. Whoa, 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 a lot going on here. Full circle brain performance. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. Thanks so much for listening. This has been episode number 180 of the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. Subscribe to this podcast on iTunes. If you're hearing this on YouTube, just go to iTunes, search for Cortex Labs Nootropics. You will find our podcast. We got 108 episodes. There's so much information and it is all free. But because it's free, to make it free, we are brought to you by powerful nootropic products. Number one, we have a nootropic stack. It is called Cortex. Look, I mean, if you want an everything stack that turns you on, gets your brain functioning awesome, makes you super confident, gives you motivation, gives you verbal fluency, gives you the energy to work, you have to try Cortex. That is our nootropic stack. Cortex is one of the most advanced nootropic stacks on the market. Buy it at livecortex.com for 33 bucks to support us. Or you can use the coupon code 5FIVE if you want to save a little bit of money. Takes it down to 28 bucks. Or if you want a bottle for 25 bucks, you can. You just have to buy two bottles. That is called the Cortex Double Stack. Totally worth it. Buy that at livecortex.com. Uh, if you need my help personally in anything related to nootropics, get the nootropics consulting service. We have been doing so many consults and helping so many people to stop treading water and actually get results from nootropics. So if you want results from nootropics, you got to get the consult. I will transform your brain into an animal. If you're new to nootropics, buy Smarter, Better, Faster. Look, that's a digital book that we wrote for people that are new that teaches you everything you need to know to start taking nootropics. Get that at livecortex.com or just get the nootropic starter pack, which is Smarter, Better, Faster, that book, plus a bottle of our stack Cortex in a package deal. Probably one of the best package deals we have. Get all that stuff at livecortex.com. Support the broadcast. Support the broadcast. We've got some new supplements and, and a new batch of Cortex coming in, coming in. We need your support on this. So go to livecortex.com. Get yourself some good nootropic products. And thanks so much for listening. Rock on. We'll talk to you next time.